visit svgcuts.com slash blog for tons of free SVGs, video tutorials, inspirational ideas, and the lowest price on Sure Cuts A Lot software. Sure Cuts A Lot's ability to import SVG files and cut fonts is likely the main reason you purchase this software. Importing an SVG file is as simple as clicking on this Import SVG button. You can also do the same thing by clicking on File, Import SVG, or using the shortcut command Control shift i as shown here. So I'm going to click Import SVG right here and I have two SVG files already on my desktop. Clicking on it once will display a preview in this preview window. You can double click to open it or you can highlight and click on open. So we've successfully imported an SVG file. It's automatically highlighted and you can take it and drag it. You can resize it. You can go to edit and hit copy and then back to edit and hit paste to duplicate it. So let's use this scenario just so I can show you some of the other options under the file menu. Let's say that we're making three thank you cards that use this flower element. And let's say that each one needs to be about three inches wide. So I'm going to take this one and just move it out of the way for now. I'm going to highlight this one. And I'm going to go over here and with keep proportions selected, I'm going to just type number 3 and hit enter on my keyboard. And that's going to size it to 3 inches wide. Okay, I'm going to take this one, I'm going to move it back over, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click on Keep Proportions, and I'm going to type in the number 3 here and hit enter. Okay, so I've got two of them here, and I can do one more by highlighting this one, going to Edit, clicking on Copy, and then back to Edit and hitting Paste. Okay, so I can take it, and I've got three of them at the same size. Now let's say that you have to stop for whatever reason, whether it's late or you have to run an errand or, or whatever it might be. You can save your work by going to File and clicking on Save Project. Now if this is the first time you're saving this project, you can either click on Save Project or Save Project As. It will do the same thing. So let me do this. Let me click on Save Project. And on my desktop, I'm going to call this Flower Card 2. And I'm going to click on Save. Okay, so I've saved my project. And now, just to show you, I'm going to clear my mat by going to File and clicking on New Project. And doing that basically gives me a fresh mat to work on. Okay, I can go back and I can click on File and go to Open Project. And here's my flower card 2 that I just saved. When I highlight it, you can see the preview there. And then I can click Open. Okay, so what that did is it brought back that previous file that I saved. Now I'm going to go to the desktop for just a second so I can show you something. As you can see here, the name of the file is flowercard2.scot. Similar to saving a Word document in Microsoft Word, this is the equivalent in Sure Cuts A Lot. This basically will save your work so that you can bring it up at a later time. So let's go back to Sure Cuts A Lot. All right, now let's say that you had a, another idea that you maybe want to try out with this card, and it involves taking this element, copying it, and then pasting it, except that we're going to take it and make this a little bit smaller. And you're just going to you know, try to put this element on the card to maybe give it some dimension. And this is just an idea that you're playing around with but you don't want to override your previous SCUT file. You want to save this as something separate. Well, you can do that by going to File and clicking on Save Project As. And then instead of calling it Flower Card 2, you can call it Flower Card 2 Alternate and click Save. Okay, so now if you go to File, Open Project, you can open the original Flower Card 2 by double clicking or by highlighting and clicking open. And then you can bring up that alternate version by going to File, Open Project, and clicking on Flower Card 2 Alternate. 
So basically, under the File menu, the New Project, Open Project, Save Project, and Save Project As options give you the flexibility to save your work and open it at a later time. Okay, so now that I'm done with that, I'm going to click on File and go to New Project, and it gives me a fresh mat. Now I'm going to click on Import SVG, and I'm going to bring in the bottom element of my chrysanthemum, and I can do that by highlighting it and then clicking Open, or I can just double click. Okay, and there it is. All right, so I've got that on my mat, and then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on Keep Proportions. And what that does is it makes sure that when I size it, it doesn't get skewed in any way. It, it will make sure that it keeps its proportions. Okay, so with Keep Proportions selected, I'm going to highlight this, and I'm going to type the number 5, because I want it 5 inches wide, and you'll notice that when I do that, and when I hit Enter, the height automatically adjusts. Okay. So I've got that. Now I'm going to bring in the other element by clicking Import SVG. And I'm going to bring in the top. And I can go ahead and double click. I'm going to bring it over here. I'm going to click on Keep Proportions. And again, I'm going to type 5 and hit Enter. Okay. Now doing that makes these elements identical so that when you cut them out, they'll fit on top of each other perfectly. So importing SVG files is very simple. In a later video, I'll show you how to find SVG files on the internet, how to save them, and actually get them ready for use in Sure Cuts A Lot.